Nate the Great. Dave Taggerman Smith. Uh, welcome to the Collection Connection. Today we're going to be talking talking about and doing a review on... The USS Flag. This is an awesome playset, and it's still today the largest playset for all of uh, action figures. It also hosted a bunch of mustache contests. Very, very famous for its mustache contests. And uh, we'll have another video about that later. Get excited about the mustache contest. But right now we're going to take you on a little tour of the USS Flag and um, show you some of the features on it. And um, it's my favorite vehicle playset. There are strengths and weaknesses to the playset that we'll get into in the future. The USS Flag spans over seven and a half feet long. So which means it has room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dave. It has room for many of your favorite G.I. Joe. And Cobra alike. And Cobra alike. I've seen these painted and modified to fit Cobra figures. When it first came out, it retailed at a whopping $100. Now, Nate, what does it retail at? Oh, man, if you get one of these complete, mine's near complete. It's like a 95% complete. But these can come cost you anywhere of up to uh, 2000 bucks complete. Um, if you get the rare bullhorn that comes with it. There are lots of cool features with it. As you can see, the it's got the, um, the ropes that slow down the planes as they land there it's got the uh, tow vehicle still complete I've also got the refueling station as well as both of the hoses and then here's a really cool blast shield that aids in the takeoff of the planes one of the coolest part is it's the actual um, the bridge and spots over there that we'll go to in just a minute and we've got the the crane the crane the crane yes it's <laughs> operated by a little brain inside Tiger Man's got the sillies today. Lift ticket. So over seven and a half feet. And these GI Joes are almost four inches tall, so gives you an idea of the scale of the playset. The crane here. Goes up and down, it's got a winch mechanism. Then it goes out. It doesn't really have up and down or like lateral movement here, but the hook goes up and down and you can go across here. Well, they get, what do you expect for 85? Yeah, 1985. I mean, this thing is pushing 30 years old now. Inside. We've got several, you got a communications compartment, the uh, the bridge with Admiral Keel Hall, and then other stations inside. I made like a little mini uh, infirmary on the inside, put some lockers, and uh, those lockers didn't come with it originally. And just lots of cool rooms and, and things you can do to uh, set up and play or just you know if you're not playing I'm not really playing with these anymore but uh, set up and pose here we have the lifeboat that deploys from the side there's an elevator here I've got some convention submarines on this goes up and stays in place or you can pull it up and put it down for launching purposes. Um, 
going back over this. Hi, Tiger Man. We got the antenna mechanism here. Radar array. Missile. So the question everyone's wondering, Nate, have you ever played with this in the bathtub? No, my bath. I wish I could, but I've never had a bathtub big enough to play with something like this. And you know, most of the time it stays boxed up. On a special occasion, we'll break it out and set it up and let the kids see it or let friends see it. But this thing is too, too big. It's also awesome. And like I said, it holds the record for the largest action figure play set ever released, you know. That's held for 30 years. Now, uh, there was one big thing that caused this to be the largest, the last large. I don't want to say the last large because there was a few other large play sets released after this. But it was uh, the Dawn of Video Games. And I'm not talking about Atari, I'm talking about the uh, the actual Nintendo Entertainment System that rendered toys like this to be obsolete. The uh, the Defiant came out after this. I believe it was in, 18, in, in 1988 or 89. And uh, the Defiant was an awesome large space shuttle. Uh, very comparable in size to this as far as weight and the amount of plastic involved this is mostly deck and a few beams underneath for support but the Defiant, the Defiant didn't have as good a sales as this did because it was competing with both the uh, the Sega and the Nintendo Entertainment System so we can thank the video game industry which we're thankful for we like our video games here too, but so we hope you liked the uh, you know the showcase of the USS flag and a couple GI Joe pieces. Um, Feel free to comment, subscribe, and share. And make sure to check out our mustache contest. Check out the mustache contest. Really fun piece. We go into action figure form and visit the USS Flag live and actually find the coolest mustaches amongst the G.I. Joe members. And the best wit. And the best wit, definitely. So for the Collection Connection, I'm Nate the Great. Dave Tigerman Smith. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.